Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today. And today I'm gonna show you how to take a too small t-shirt that fits like this into this. A t-shirt that fits more loosely around the hips and that I will subsequently wear more than the original. Here are my supplies. First I have my too small t-shirt and then I went back to the thrift store and I matched as closely as I could because gray heather fabric is surprisingly hard to match. But I matched as closely as I could with another gray t-shirt that has enough fabric on the sides that I can use this. Now, you can also just use regular fabric from your stash or from the fabric store if you have that. I did not. So I was at the thrift store on 50% off day and this t-shirt cost me 50 cents and that just seemed like even if I wasn't gonna use all of it for this project, it was a good investment. I have measured this t-shirt against a t-shirt that I do like the fit of, and I've determined that I want to add two inches in width to the bottom edges. Now, I like the fit around the bust just fine, so I'm not going to add the extra width all the way down. I'm going to angle it. The first thing I need to do, though, is I need to cut up the side seams of this t-shirt, and if you look closely, you'll see here's the side seam here, and here's the side seam here when they are straight and flat at the arm side. This is because it's very common on modern, quickly and cheaply made t-shirts for them to be twisted because they weren't cut exactly on the grain. Since I only want to add two inches overall to the width of my t-shirt at the hem, I would normally add one inch here and one inch here. But because I've got this twist, we're going to cut the t-shirt up the side seams and then I'm gonna measure after I've got it evened out and we'll determine how much I need to add to each side. And I am going to go ahead and cut straight up through the sleeve. Okay, this extra little flap here that is from this t-shirt being serge, I'm gonna cut that off. I don't want to cut off the sleeve hem and then I do want to repeat this on the other side. Okay, once I have the side seams cut, I want to lay this t-shirt out flat and figure out how much I need to cut to untwist it. So I am pinning this together, back together at the bottom of the arm side here at that seam because it wasn't twisted there. The twist just grew down the side seams. Okay, so I'm going to cut this piece off so that this has a straight side seam now. Now, if all I needed to do was untwist this t-shirt and it was big enough that I could cut this extra off and it would still fit, then I would just do that on both sides, re-sew the side seams, it would be untwisted. But I'm going to need to add fabric to this one. And when I check, when I flip this over, you can see it was twisted the same amount on the other side. Okay, so here is my untwisted t-shirt. Side seams match now. So the next step is this particular shirt doesn't have a ton of usable fabric because it has the logo on the front and the back, but I definitely have three inches that I can use. And I'm gonna start by doing the same thing I did to that t-shirt. I'm going to cut up the side seams. So here is my usable fabric on the sides. I would love to reuse the hem, but I can't. So I am going to need to unpick the hem on both my extra fabric and my other fabric. If you have never unpicked a cover stitch hem before, it's gonna be a little difficult to see what I'm doing on this gray fabric, but I have a video where I used contrast thread and show you how to unpick a cover stitch, so it's much clearer to see in that video, and I'm going to link it below. Okay, I have removed the cover stitching, and now I'm going to mark the widest part of the graphic on this. I'm gonna do it with pins so that I can see it on the wrong side, because that will tell me how much fabric I have to work with. And then I'm gonna be doing some drawing with my washable marker on the wrong side here. So I'm just gonna mark on the edge of that decal, like where can I cut and I won't end up on the decal. And do the same thing on the other side. 
And now it's time to figure out how much to add. Now, remember I originally wanted to add two inches total width to my t-shirt. That was before I cut off some more to untwist it. So the pieces that I cut off, if I measure them, this is going to be equal to four inches. So I need to add four inches plus the original two I wanted to add, that gets me to six. Then I need to divide that in half to see how much finished width I'm adding to each side. Six divided by two is three. To each of those, I need to add one inch so that I will have a half inch seam allowance on each side. That means I want my wedge to be four inches wide at the bottom, and then up at the top, I'm going to want it to be one inch wide because that's just seam allowances, so it'll end up being nothing under the arm side here, but it will have enough to sew on both sides. So if I look at this t-shirt here, I barely have four inches width, but it's gonna work. So what I want to do is I am going to, since my line was four inches at the bottom, I'm gonna draw another two inch line here Okay, because that is marking the center of the bottom. And then I want my wedge to come down from there. I need to figure out how long I want the wedge to be. And I do that by looking at the side seam length of my finished t-shirt. So I don't even have to measure. I'm just going to mark right here as the top. So those links will match. I want to do half inch to either side of that mark. Again, look how I'm just barely gonna have enough fabric. I measured this out at the store so I knew this was going to work. If you can find a shirt that matches that has fewer or no graphics, obviously then you have more room to work. So I wanna go from the edge of my one inch mark down to my four inch mark at the bottom, all the way on the edge of the fabric on this side. And then I'm going to cut this piece out and that's the amount that I'm gonna to add to one side of the shirt. I'm going to fold this on my fold line because I noticed the hem was not even. So we're gonna cut that hem off even. And then all I need to do is take this piece and cut it out of my safe area on the other side of the shirt to make my second wedge. I am going to pin right sides together one of these wedges. So I'm pinning at the hem and the top should land right at the seam. You can double check your length again here. And I'm going to stitch that into place using a stretch stitch. Okay, so that side's stitched on. And now what I need to do is fold this t-shirt so that the front is gonna be right sides together with that wedge. And I'm gonna pin it again. Okay, here is the wedge sewn in on both sides. You can see it disappeared by the top of the sleeve here. So I can go ahead and sew up this seam right on the sleeve and there is the amount that was added to the bottom edge of my shirt, which as you can see is the three inches that I wanted at that bottom edge. Okay, here is my t-shirt. Now that I have sewn those wedges into the sides here and you can see them, you can see them better if I put my t-shirt sideways. So you see I added room at the bottom, tapering off to under the arm. And you can see how the underarm seam was sewn and I didn't have to rehem because I saved the hem on the sleeves. But I do need to rehem the bottom of the shirt since I took that out. So I'm gonna press that and hem that. I'm not gonna show that on camera today. I've got a whole other video about hemming knits and that is linked below, so check that out. And then I'll show you the finished product. So here is my finished tee. I did a 
hem on the bottom and you can see the wedges I added to the side and now it's going to fit like this. Check out this playlist for more upcycling tutorials where I take things that I either owned or found at the thrift store and change them into something I will wear more.